high. You turn us down a little bit. Hi, my name is Tara. I'm your high priestess. And we're going to deliver messages. I did one of these readings for you guys already on YouTube, and the whole video deleted. I'm so upset. It's like, what, what happened to it? It's like, where did it go? Where did it go? It's so cold in my house right now. What time is it? What time is it? It's 3.40 a.m. Of course it is. Spirit wouldn't want it any other way, now would they? We're going to do the, um, I got two new decks. Like I said, I did this with you already, but it is what it is. Um, the Mirror Truth of Norman deck and the Egyptian deck. I have this heat over here. I have been working on this energy for hours, so <sighs> thought it was raw, gonna deliver messages, send God, Egyptians, send God raw, but he's not here. <laughs> um, Cleopatra is here. I want to talk about something. If you haven't watched my channel, if you have, if you have, there's like 97% of the people that watch this are not subscribed. That's pathetic. That's sad. There was a reader who said that he, every, if he watches something, he likes it. And for, so they have, it helps them with business. And it doesn't hurt to like and subscribe to something. I belong to like so many groups and likes and stuff on Facebook. And I do that because to support everyone. I don't even know people, these people. I don't even know what I'm supporting a lot of times. I just do it because that's what you should do for one another. I am love and light. I am white light, blue flame, violet flame, unicorn color, love and light. Let's talk aliens. So I've been taking these pictures of these alien beings, posting them, um, spaceships, and nobody's really saying anything about it. Nobody, like, seems to really care, but, you know, I look into NASA, NASDAQ, Tesla, the guy that owns Tesla, um, Meta's all over the place, but I hear Meta's a dark frequency, and I'm seeing it popping up everywhere. But um, all these places that research for aliens are multi-billion dollar companies. And they're looking for the truth. Uh, the thing is, I have the truth. The mirrored truth, I say. <laughs> so, um... We're going to throw a couple cards just to see what zodiac signs there could be, we could be working with for this reading. Um, it, this is a reading for anybody, but a couple of zodiac signs, if it resonates more with you, hits home for you, then, you know, take it. Um, 
<clears throat> I do have a cash app. This is like my only income, and right now I am like struggling really bad. I really, you know, having a hard time with getting getting work again. So, if you you like to donate to my channel? That would be awesome sauce. And I also do um, personal readings. If you're not in my area, we can do it one-on-one -on, -one on video chat, or I can just do the reading, put it on a, you know, record it and send it to you that way. I can, I do channel, um, I can channel some past loved ones, ancestors, whoever you would like me to try to channel for you. I haven't had any issues of channeling anyone for anyone at this time since I started doing this. So, <clears throat> <clears throat> my throat chakra is now closing up. Somebody's having a hard time communicating. Maybe me. Um, aliens. <laughs> So I, I watch these people, these scientists, million, worth millions and millions of dollars. Um, he's talking about how he was abducted by an alien. And he didn't really want to talk about it because he was nervous. He thought the aliens would kill him and get rid of him. So, and then Larry King's like, well, what did the alien look like? Tall, skinny, long neck. I'm like, well, you know, yes, granted, I do take pictures, and some of them do look like that, so, but everybody that I've heard talk about abductions and aliens, that's what they always say they look like, like that, and it's always the same story with the abduction. <clears throat> now, I'm sitting here wondering... Because I'm talking to them, they're playing with my dog, I'm videoing them, I'm, I'm seeing them, you know. They're here. <laughs> they want you guys to know, but for some reason, none of you care. I don't understand. But, um, when I look over there, I'm looking outside. I have my, <laughs> but, um, I took a, picture of a spaceship in my backyard and I have tons and tons of aliens hanging around. They're all nice. None of them are harmful. They don't make fun of me. They're, they're here because they want just truth of love and light. Of raw. Raw is law of one. Love and light. That's what I'm teaching. That's what I'm guiding. Love and light. Now, um, How comes I'm not being abducted by them? How comes I don't scare? I'm not scared of them. How comes they don't like say think bad things about America to me about what other people say that they're here to taunt us? I'm not here to taunt us. We are them. And the majority of my aliens don't look like a freaking tall, slender, and long neck. Some of them look like Powerpuff Girls. Some of them look like big, tall lions. Some of them look like um, robots. Some of them look like dogs. Some of them look like cats. I mean, some of them look like pigs. <laughs> some of them look human. Okay. I don't know. What do you think? Cleo, are you here to deliver messages to our viewers to see what they need to know, to see what they need to know, to see what they need, to see what they need, to see what they need to know. I'm going to throw out three cards out of the Lenormand deck and then four cards out of the Egyptian. A couple cards for the zodiac signs. See who's here. Here, energy. 
Auntie. Sorry, it's gonna energy is doing me shit like this. Cleo, are you here to deliver the messages today? Can you give me your number? Do that again. <clears throat> How many children did you have, Cleo? I'm getting tired. <laughs> My eyes want to fall asleep. My eyes want to fall asleep. We are of love and light. We are protected by St. Germain's Violet Flame. We are love and light. Nothing dark, evil, or neg negative can be in this space. If you're here watching and you're dark, evil, or negative, or in a, in a, in a dark energy, um, either nicely get off or my spirit team will um, pinpoint who you are and it won't be pretty for you in the long run. I'm trying to be nice. Just be gone. Oh, I guess sneeze. If my ex-husband's watching this, why don't you get the hell off or just give it to my children so my children can see it. Kane and Quinn, I love you very, 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 very much. Kane, you're a very, very smart child. You guys will be home very soon. Love and light. Love and light, Quinny. Love and light. Fortunately, people are going to be in a lot of trouble. I got a lot of truths. I'm not gonna discuss that now, but it's sad.
My ex-husband is trying to sabotage my life, stealing my accounts, email accounts, social media, stalking. Tampered with school, um, school phone numbers to, for the school to call me, and, um, court, court documents. Just call my mom today, tell my mom that I'm on a terroristic terrorist um, page, and the chair. We did this before. Um, something might be coming in quick for you, or there's a cancer involved. Um, that, and also. I'm on a terrorist page, and also, oh, he was telling her that she needs to put me. Um, lock me up in a mental, in a mental hospital. Mm. Somebody getting scared. Because <laughs> your tooth is going to come out. Mm. Okay. Ready? Hey, Kane, maybe if you're watching this, maybe there's a way you can call me from the school that you need to use the phone and give mama a call. Maybe there's a, a phone booth there, too. Maybe you gotta say you gotta make a call to your mother. Something. We have to figure out how to get communication. All right, this isn't. It's about. <laughs> it could be about a Virgo, <laughs> an Aquarius. That's funny. It could be about a Virgo and Aquarius. Somebody that's abuser, mentally, physically, sexually, in all ways possible. I love you all. Cleo, Cleopatra, something's coming in. Quick Cancer, Leo, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Aquarius, possibly. This may sound crazy, another Virgo card. This may sound crazy, but lately when I start doing this, my Kundalini area down there is getting very, 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 very warm. Why is that? It's like extremely warm. What is happening? I'm trying to Google it, figure it out what it means. I keep seeing the Libra card. Ooh, we could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Devil. Somebody's looking for justice from a lover. <laughs> Possibly. I think we got enough cards. Did I say just did I say justice?
Somebody from a uh, uh, a Libra, um, the justice. Um, somebody may need justice uh, from somebody from the past, from uh, the Two of Cups, Twin Flame card, or somebody from the past. Possibly, uh, could be a Taurus, or maybe somebody that's a high priestess. I'm a high priestess. I'm looking for justice from a lot of people. All right, let's throw out. Let's play the Lenormand deck. Okay. Why not my aliens abducting me and putting me in a spaceship? <laughs> but they do it to all these other people. What's going on there? What's going on there? What's going on with the aliens? I said, can you go get my chatty daddy, my twin flame from the from the cell block? And why why can't you abduct him and bring him here to to, to help me and my kundalini and get it situated? <laughs> three sorry, over. three cards, three cards only. I'm ready. Cleo, Cleopatra. Oh, oh. Okay. A letter's coming in. There's, oh my god, this is like poking at me underneath. I'm not really, no, not functions. There's a letter. There's a moon card. <laughs> And then there's your loyal dog. <laughs> so somebody's loyal. The number on that card is number 27. Sorry, I have to fix this. 27. The letter card. Oh, I need my glasses. It's like, I can't get my shirt. I can't get my shirt. I need to get my shirt. The letter card is a basic meaning, messages, phone calls, emails, WhatsApp, documents, or communication in any form, as well as superficial. At a time factor, this card stands for short, short term. That's funny because um, my ex has um, stolen my, yeah, my, old, my email account. I got locked out of it. I didn't know it was him. And he, I, he's, he's was um, tampering with my, my, all my stuff. Um, love letter, positive message, non-commitment. This card can also stand for start, um, starting the communi communi communication actively instead of waiting for a message to come. Our communication has shifted to a lot of technology. As a result, it has become very superficial and without commitment. However, a letter addresses the topic of commitment. Binding actions brings the topic of responsibility. Taking responsibility for someone or something. I gotta pause this for one second. Yeah, yeah it paused. <sighs> Something needs to be communicated, and possibly by a letter. Something needs to be done. Something's ready to be talked about. The moon card, number. 32. The letter card was number 27. These numbers could mean something for you. So 32 is the moon. Which is usually a Pisces. The 
The moon card reflects the mirror of the soul, the feelings, the intuition, the psyche, and also fame, um, fame and honor of social recognition. Fame and honor of social recognition. Instincts, lust, aversion, recognition, mutual love and feelings of admiration, shared feelings, nerves. Also can endure closeness, ignition, fast extinguishing, suppressing memories, being in the spotlight, nice shift. Keeping calm, introspect, pay attention to your own feelings. Oh my goodness. Where the card appears primary focus of internal or not external, first be aware of what you're what you feel internally, what you want or what you are not processed yet. What is not processed will eventually surface and will be mirrored to others. Your world changes first from the inside and then the outer world, not the other way around. So if you have bought up feelings that you need to express, make sure you do it. Otherwise, something's coming to surface and you're going to be recognized for something. Maybe after you write this letter. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then you got dog. This is man's best friend. I don't even have to look it up. Somebody is loyal. There is a loyal minion around you. Or you're the loyal minion. I mean... How... That's perfect. <laughs> okay, four cards... to understand what these cards mean in the Egyptian Tarot. One, two, three, one more card. Four. The sun, the sun will come out tomorrow. Six of swords. The king of wands. Ooh. And then you get the devil on top of this deck. <laughs> but that doesn't mean nothing. But that doesn't mean nothing. Knave of Wands first. Mm. Horace, messenger, messenger, friend, scribe, news, letter, message. Something needs to be messaged out. The sun. Happiness, the light illuminates those who are able to direct it and blinds those who abuse it. Harmony, sincerity, clarity, security, faithfulness, and glory. <laughs> Six of Swords. The Ship of the Dead, Departure, Adventure, Introspection, Introspection, Spectation, Research, Daring. So you are researching something. Somebody's researching. Somebody's researching so they can get this sun and get this letter out so they can speak the truth of something. King of Wands. The Lord of Fertility. A good relationship with a mature man. Inheritance. Help. Received. It's a man's best friend. That's a dog. I mean, do I need to even go anymore? I don't, do I? I mean, you got a letter coming in. You got to just make your emotions. Something's going to come to surface that you're going to get recognized for. But just make sure you check your emotions that you are dealing with everything. 
You have a somebody's gonna be somebody's loyal. Somebody is getting a message, delivering a message. Something's being illuminated with the sun. Somebody is researching something. Somebody is departing to get this research on the way. And there's happiness. You guys, whoever this is for, you better like and subscribe. If you want this, you better like and subscribe to my channel. You better like and subscribe. Because if you do that, my guides, my people will help push your... Things will get done sooner. They'll help you if you help me. I love you. I really do love you. This was awesome. <laughs> love and light to you. Love and light.